M0FXB, welcome to my beginner's guide on the ICOM IC7300 HF 6 meter radio. Let's take a quick look at the back first. So a nice big fan, which I think is not noisy. Your four pin power supply that does come with an EMC reducer stroke filter. And there's a cable that you connect here that's on that as well. SO239, only one antenna connection, tuner connector. And then here you've got your ALC and send, I believe is for an amplifier, a large jack for your CW key. Then you've got remote connector, extension speaker there, ACC, and then for things like FT8, WSJTX, you will connect here like the printer style. So yeah, nice and simple at the back there and very nice construction as well. And at the top there, you've got a vent with a very with a with a nice, a good sounding speaker. And you've got some connections there for a handle and for feet as well. Uh, quite a basic microphone, but with good audio reports, up and down buttons there, PTT. And, and yeah, you can upgrade that if you want, but that's the one that we get with it. And then you just put the dome to the bottom, I believe. Let's feel it. And was it the top? No, it's the top and just screw that on there and then turn the device on and it boots up and I've added my call sign. I'm gonna show you how to add that call sign as well. Now uh, this is a beautiful set. I love the sort of rounded rounded edges here and here. Uh, the display is the same size as the 710 and the new FTX one as well. That display is beautiful and very in intuitive to the user. For example, we just turned it on there. Let's turn it up so you can hear it. Mr. Sure FTA, there's someone there. Anyone there? And you've got your noise reduction here. Press and then press and hold to adjust it. Antenna tuner. Press the tuner button. You see it there. Hold it down to tune to change the power. You just press here. Power's at the top. If you press and hold it, it actually puts the power there. So you can adjust the power, and this is the same for the other selections as well. This transceiver also does four meters, and yes, it will do 100 watts. You've got your headphone jack there, 3.5, Vox, tuner, and then you've even got a transmit button as well. You've got touch selections on the front and along the bottom here for different menus. So for example, tap the, the frequency, there you go, you're on that frequency and you can, it band stacks, so you get three choices. And you go back to where you started. Tap your filters, they appear, and you, they, well, they're actually changing. Push this button and you can turn the filters. If you hold them, they return back to their default. You've got receive increment tuning here. You've got transmit increment tuning here and you can clear it as well. Split mode, A and B, VFO and memories. We've not added any memories, but it seems to me to add a memory. You just hold down the memory right button. There's a memory pad here, but we've not, we've not done memories. We're not gonna do memories in this video. Let's just have a quick tune through. If you go to here, you've got two menu selections. If we tap reflector and then roll it back a bit, do that again. Yeah, that's as far back as it will go. So let's do the, uh, probably got the preamp on. Let's turn the preamp off just underneath there. That's better. Just here, preamp. You can really see those signals. You can customize. Customize the screen, watch this. You can expand it, or if you press 
menu audio you get that really cool oscilloscope of course this is the VFO if you tap the middle section you'll get wider or larger increments but if you press and hold your finger on the noughts you get smaller there you are and you can play around with the oscilloscope by pressing time look hit scope and yes it voice records it CW records and transmits very easy to find those signals once they appear Look at that lovely matrix style trail so up and down here for your memories you've got auto tune I think that's more for CW when you're on CW it decodes RTTY as well let's just do it I, I haven't used RTTY for a long time but there is a whole menu dedicated to that you've also got a menu dedicated to scanning as well where you put the presets in start and end frequency and it will just scan them we'll do a menu dedicated to that menu audio or menu scoop if you want you can just choose menu and you can have all the meters there let's go back to SSB and I believe if you press and hold I'm pretty sure you get if you press and hold don't you get USB digital there it is there data okay for FT8 WSD ATX win link there you are back to lower sideband my favorite window actually you can have the meters and the scope as you saw or I'm pretty sure you can have just the the meters if you want I'll try that anyway the other thing you can do is go SWR you press the microphone key up a couple of times and it will you press play and it's going to tell you what your SWR is okay but I'm not transmitting any audio there but if I put that in FM it would do it so that's a very cool feature back to audio there's your memory pad and the, the you know record there and an SD card goes here the largest size for doing easy firmware updates uh, I need to check if mine's got the latest so we'll just go menu set go down to SD card now if you've never used it before then you'll need to uh, format it and put it will put all the files on there. let's just there's no SD card in there so we can't really do much can we but let's see if we can get the information of what firmware we've got is it not there let's go back other information version 1.41 so what's the latest firmware I'll look it up exit 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 and then you've got SD card time set as well we need to do that don't we we're a bit out there 2025 and it's uh, what's it today it's the 28th of June so June 28th you hold your finger and yes the battery after a while will uh, run out of charge someone asked me does it do 24 hours yes it does um, so is the time is 1941 probably the same year my father was born set if your battery's gone flat try leaving it on for a few days it might charge it up because if, if you haven't turned left it left it turned on for a while all right let's try again see if we can find someone go menu scope that filter sounds tight that's better RF gain here
it also talks to you. That's your voice guide. So input there, XFC. You've got this menu and number two. You've got your presets for FTA if you've got the latest firmware, which is there. Tap that, puts all the FTA settings in for you. Center fix, different formats of the scope. You click the ref, that's like your waterfall game. Big set menu. Look at all these connectors, display. But if you really want to change your display, hold down the EXP button. Got a lot to set. This has been changed. This isn't default. This is actually the way I prefer it. We're pressing the edges there. Hold. I do like the large figures. You can actually change the background. Go menu. Set. Display. Display type. Change it to B. You got the blue, which is all right. Yeah, it's not horrible. AF squelch there, and we've done all this. So that's your basics, really. So, you know, you turn it on. You tune to the band that you want to tune by tapping the screen. Select the one you like. And you, like I said, you've got a band stack. It's like having three memories on each band. Set your power. Turn your tuner on. Make sure you've got an antenna that isn't too far out of SWR. Three to one, I think. Otherwise, it won't tune. And then you can just call. Ooh. Yes, it'll do CB. But you have to take off a, uh, a diode at least, one diode to make it transmit on the CB bands, another diode diode to open it up completely, but it's, it's not hard. Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo. Let's try a bit harder. Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo. Mike Zero, Fox Trot X-Ray Bravo. Nope. Mike Zero, Fox Trot X-Ray Bravo. Well, nothing. We're not getting through, but that's okay. I just want to show the functions. Mike Gain. Let's try this menu. So look, this is where you're going to start setting up your noise blanker, your noise reduction box, amps. Some of these are on the screen. Back, function, memory scope. I've not even used that. So I don't actually know what that is. Looks cool though, doesn't it? Quick menu. Meter type. And you can tap the actual meter and that will tell you the type. Back button basically. Alright, so let us know your experiences. I think it's a fantastic device. Bit of beginner learner learning for you. You know, get yourself, I've got a 49 to 1 Balan. 66 foot length of wire. Um, and I um, I do find, you know, if the conditions are okay, they don't have to be amazing. There's your span there. That's how wide you're viewing.
Gracias, Echo del Tahuán. Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray, Bravo. You can see the transmission there. Mike Zero, Foxtrot, X-Ray, Bravo. Quite fast. M Zero, FXB. You gotta be fast. Thanks for watching my channel. Bye for now. Please remember to hit the like and subscribe. More videos to follow. 73.